The staff service with moderator was also signed on the 7th of October. And last with the fact of course, we expect a strategic partner of joint European borders of countries. It is very important politically and operationally to ensure a swift signing of the remaining status agreements. Second, we will continue working with uh, you in the region to strengthen reception capacities and asylum systems. The engagement of the European Asylum Support Office in the region in uh, this regard, as you understand, it is very important, as well as, of course, the cooperation with international organizations like IOM and UNHCR. I mentioned before our concern about the situation in Bosnia and Herzegovina area. Here, I would like to say that we should avoid, by all means, seeing the situation that we saw unfold in the winter of 2015 and 2016. We still have in our minds these very dire pictures. We need to make sure that all migrants and refugees are accommodated in reception facilities that are fit for this purpose. The humanitarian organizations are on the ground and stand ready to support, to help. But they can only do so under the guidance and the leadership of the Bosnian authorities. Minister Mekvic, dear Dragan, we fully understand the pressure your country is facing. This is the reality. And be sure that we, are going, we shall continue showing solidarity and support to Bosnia. But I urge you to urgently take measures to ensure that all people stranded in your country receive proper shelter. We are ready to help, as I said, but your government also needs to act. Third, we need to give priority and strengthen our efforts in returns. Return of third country nationals who do not have the right to stay is a very important step in fighting irregular migration. The readmission of uh, your own is going well and return rates have uh, remained high. EU member states deem cooperation on return to be excellent. But in order to relieve the pressure from your territories, I would encourage you all to step up uh, our efforts to conclude your own bilateral readmission agreements with key third countries of origin transit, such as Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, Turkey, Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria, and Bangladesh. In the meantime, you should continue to carry out voluntary returns. I know that IOM is already assisting you operationally. Fourth, I would like to reiterate that your visa policies need to be aligned with the EU acquis in order to prevent entry and abuse by nationals of high-risk countries. There is also the issue of uh, citizenship by investment programs, which can pose risks, risks in terms of security. Money laundering, tax evasion, terrorist financing, corruption, and infiltration by organized crime. We will continue monitoring all these developments in the framework of the Visa Suspension Mechanism Report. Fifth, the fight against migrant smuggling needs to be stepped up as a part of our joint response. We keep on seeing tragic stories in the news where smugglers employ a very dangerous modus operandi which puts the lives of migrants in danger due to overcrowding in concealed lorries, vans or freight trains. We need to work together and use available tools, including provided by Europol and its European Migrant Smuggling Center to fight these serious crimes. To conclude, 
we all need to move ahead, to move forward by doing more efforts on all these fronts. I know we all have the same aim. We have proven that we are stronger when we work together. And I would like to reiterate once again that you all have our full support operationally, politically, and financially in order to achieve our common goals. Let's continue in this vein. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Dimitri.